This video is about the properties of eukaryotic and prokaryotic RNA. This is really a continuation of the series of RNA videos that I'm making. So eukaryotic RNA and prokaryotic RNA, there are distinct differences that we have to know in order to understand when they're talking about a certain part or the, if they're talking about a question where there's an experiment and you don't know the specifics between the eukaryotic and prokaryotic, then you will not be able to na navigate your way through the question. So this is why these topics are very, very important. So let's get right into it. The first topic I want to talk about is types of M, types of RNA polymerase. So RNA polymerase makes RNA, okay? And there are types of RNA polymerase. I first want to talk about prokaryotic RNA polymerase. Really, for prokaryotic RNA polymerase, all there is core enzyme alpha 2 and beta beta prime, okay? So this is the RNA polymerase of prokaryotes, okay? RNA polymerase, polymerase for prokaryotes. This is not the case for eukaryotes. We have three different types of RNA polymerase. RNA polymerase 1 makes rRNA. RNA polymerase 2 makes mRNA. RNA polymerase 3 makes T RNA. Okay, 1, 2, and 3. SNRNA is also made by RNA polymerase 2. Okay, so in a way you can think like this that rRNA being made in the nucleolus must be the first one. Our RNA polymerase must be the first one making ribosomal RNA. That's why uh, it's coming from the nucleus. It's all the way inside. That's where the one is. Okay. And what happens in the nucleus? Okay. What happens in the nucleus? In the nucleus, there is uh, messenger RNA and snRNA. So uh, RNA polymerase 2 is working at the level of nucleus, not nucleolus, nucleus. And RNA polymerase 3 is in the cytoplasm, okay? Uh, because uh, um, tRNA works in the cytoplasm, at the level of cytoplasm, so it's just a way of remembering that uh, ribosomal RNA being made in the nucleus is all the way inside, so RNA polymerase is doing that all the way there, that's why it's one, okay? Two is messenger RNA, which is in the nucleus, but not in the nucleolus. SNRNA wo works also in the nucleus, not in the nucleolus. So that's, that's, uh, that's where the RNA polymerase, those are the products RNA polymerase 2 is making. And RNA polymerase 3 is making um, tRNA, and tRNA is in the cytoplasm. So kind of follow this sequence, and you'll be able to uh, recall it. This is, this is strictly for recalling. So these are the different types of RNA polymerases in the eukaryotes. And for prokaryotes, it's really core enzyme alpha 2, beta, and beta prime. The next one is the initiation re region. So from the initiation region, we are getting the promoter, which is found in both eukaryotic and prokaryotic. Okay. We find the Tata box, okay, which is also found in both eukaryotic and prokaryotic. What is not found in um, prokaryotic is the cat box. So there is one more part which is found in the prokaryote. Those are called the Shine Delgarno sequence. Okay. This is found in prokaryotes. In eukaryotes, there is an equivalent of Shine Delgarno, but they are not called Shine Delgarno. They are called, I think, the Kozak Center or something like that. So we're not going to worry about that because that usually is not asked in U.S. Mealy. But shine Delgarno sequence, if they say that, then you know that that, that is prokaryotes. And really, this is a, uh, it's a binding site. Okay? It's a binding site on mRNA. And I don't want to go too details in this video about that. So really, shine Delgarno is a... Uh, ribosomal binding site on the mRNA. So that is not found in our eukaryote. And cat box is not found in our prokaryote. Okay, another thing is that naturally 
the DNA for um, eukaryotes and prokaryotes are going to be different in size. Eukaryotes are usually going to have longer DNAs, prokaryotes are going to have shorter DNAs. As a result, the promote region in eukaryotes is going to be a little, it's going to be a little more higher or uh, a little further than the promoter region of the prokaryotes. So for prokaryotes, the promoter region is about negative 10. For eukaryotes, it's about negative 25. For, for tata box, for prokaryotes, is usually found at the region of uh, negative 70. And for tata box of eukaryotes, sorry, for prokaryotes, it's found not negative 70. Negative 70 is for eukaryotes. Okay, it's going to be negative 70. And this is going to be negative 35 for prokaryotes. Again, I'll give you a quick tip to know how to remember where the sequences are. First, start with prokaryotes. Prokaryotes, it's 10, right? Negative 10. 35 is about three times, about three times larger, right? These numbers are not set in stone, so about three times larger than this one. And with eukaryotes, again, it starts with negative 25. 75, 70 is almost about three, three times uh, further than the negative 25. So it's a little, little bit further than the tata box is a little further than the pro promoter region. So if, let's say this is the, um, this is the um, uh, mRNA. If this is the initiation, if, if this is where the, uh, the transcription starts, let's say this is a negative um, 25, that's the promoter region, and this is the tata box, which is negative 70. Okay, so they're obviously going backwards from the, uh, from the beginning where transcription starts. Now let's talk about the termination region of the, uh, of the RNA. Really, there is not uh, a significant, um, significant um, sequence of termination uh, region for eukaryotes, but there is definitely for prokaryotes. There is some, something called a stem loop. Okay? There is also the poly U tail. Do remember that this is the 3' prime end, and obviously this is the 5' prime end. So, at the end of the sequence, the termination sequence, termination region, there is the stem loop and poly U. This stem loop is also GC rich region. Okay, this stem loop is also the GC rich region. And you will also be familiar, you will also, you may come up with a term called rho factor. Okay, rho factor binds to the termination pass site after the GC rich region. So somewhere over here, you might be able to, you might come across rho factor. Really what you really have to know about this region is that you have to recognize that GC rich region or the stem loop or poly U or rho factor, they're all the end sequence or the termination sequence or the termination region of a prokaryotic RNA, not in eukaryotic RNA. It's only in prokaryotic RNA. Last but not the least is our post-transcription processing. There is really no post-transcription processing for, for prokaryotic RNA, but there is definitely for eukaryotic RNA. So post-transcription processing include uh, addition of 5' prime cap, and I will talk about in a separate video exactly how that whole process happens, and poly A tail is added. Okay, so poly A tail is at the 3 prime end, and 5 prime cap uh, addition happens at the, obviously, the 5 prime. So these are the post-transcription processing, and none such processing happens with our prokaryotes. So those are some of the very important uh, properties of eukaryotes and prokaryotes, and uh, it's very helpful if you know them. At least this much, you don't have to go all out and know it in more details. I think this much is just enough for USMLE.